Hey, what's going on YouTube? So, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys the carb setup that I use. Um, I already took off the stock carburetor, which is a PZ20, 20 millimeter carb. Um, I already moved the emissions. So a lot of people ask me about the emissions and stuff. So the vent tube, I just leave it up here. I just leave that one just like that open. And then the other one's your fuel line which is right here, back here. See with the big filter, I haven't got to it yet. So I'm gonna be removing that and putting a new line and a new filter in there as well as a fuel shut off. Cause now that I uh, removed the other one, the other carburetor, they don't have a fuel shut off. So this is the carburetor that I use and the intake manifold setup and filter. This is just a regular pit bike uh, 140 intake manifold, which is the bigger one than the small stock one. This is the carburetor I use, PZ26. Um, the plastic choke style. I live in California and I'm at sea level, so this is the carburetor that works for me. This is the biggest that I personally go on a 125 because it's already big enough. If you don't have supporting mods, I suggest not doing a 26, probably a 22, which I'll show you guys right now the difference. This is the air filter that I use. All this stuff is on Amazon. This, the manifold is $10. Filter, seven. And this carburetor, this carburetor cost me a little more. It's like 50 something or 60. Um, but they do have the same style ones with the plastic choke for I think $24, 23. And it comes actually with the filter. Um, this one for me does not require any jetting. It already comes pretty close out the box. The only thing I do got to do is I adjust the adjust it a little bit the mixture screw just a hair and then just my idle other than that the bike runs fine if you watch my other videos um, I have no issues with that at all and I ride up hills everywhere I take it the bike everywhere on my other one so um, yeah so I'll be showing you guys but first let me go grab that other carburetor so I can show you a difference on the other one so here's the other carburetor this is a PZ 22 so this is a 22 that's a 26 I don't have the stock one on hand, but it is a 20. So what I do is this is the biggest one. I only run this one when I'm running an open exhaust and stuff like that. And I'm going to do supporting stuff. Um, I personally believe the 26s are too big for a stock bike. Um, if you're running a stock pipe, stuff like that, I would stick to a 22. So here's a 22, the ones I like to use as well. And uh, it's the plastic choke style is the ones that I like to use which is still a good carburetor. It's an improvement over the stock. It's way better because the stock's a 20, so it's a 22, gives you pretty good mid-range and nice little throttle response. I recommend this one if you're not gonna be running a uh, free-flowing exhaust. So if you're gonna be running a full exhaust system, I would recommend something like this um, for the more open free-flowing exhaust, and I'd recommend one of these 26s. Um, like I said, these work for me without jetting. I do jet my carburetors if I need to. Um, it's a pretty cheap little setup, um, but where I live and stuff like that, I don't really need to jet them really. Uh, so this is just with the setup that I use. So I'm not going to be using the 22 on this bike. I'm going to be using the 26. We will be putting a uh, pretty big exhaust on here, well kind of. It's going to be the bottom one and uh, also be doing some other stuff to it. I got a different head, cam, a bunch of other stuff for it. So. The 26 worked fine on the other one. That's what we're gonna be doing. So let me show you guys how we do it. Okay, so installing this carb is simple. First thing I do is always take off the carb hat, the spring, and the slide. Find your throttle cable, which is this one on my bike. Slide this in. Then you put your spring. Pull the spring back, get your cable. And slide this in through there. Okay, and it's on just like that. Now when I use my throttle, it works. These only go in a certain way as well. Um, your long side with the slit will go to the highest mark in there. There's like a little square that sticks out so that side will sit with that side 
and then it just slides. You'll know it's right when it slides all the way down. The other way it'll only go a little bit. And then just make sure to thread in your top hat carefully. Don't strip it. Okay, so connected. I run my carburetor forward facing. So since I run it forward facing, put it like that. And let me show you guys. So since it's forward facing, I already have this off. And here. So let me get my gasket that goes in there. And then your two bolts to hold it down. Always use Loctite on everything you touch on these bikes. It'll save you later. I always see everybody that their bikes are falling apart. And it's just don't take much to just use some Loctite. Okay, so let's put this in here. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Let's see. Okay, got that bolt in. We get to the other side. I have this bike covered up. Haven't used this bike yet, so it's just one I'm putting together for videos. Make sure your gasket sits see, sits in there. Okay, I'll get back to you guys right now. Let me tighten this up real quick and then we'll go over it. Okay, so carburetor is installed. Um, filter's pointed up right now. Carburetor sits like this. Bolt it down. Got all that room in there. Throttle works perfectly fine. So that's how it sits. Here's the fuel line with the filter. It's back there. Like I said, I'm gonna be replacing this because I'm gonna use a different line and different filter and also an on and off valve. But if you didn't, it would just go straight like this into your carb just like that and there's nothing else that you would touch on this and that'd be it with this setup and then you got all this room in here now so it's easy to work on easy to touch easy to do everything too um this other hose back here this is for my crankcase i have to point it backwards i just have it up still because i haven't started the bike but i'm going to be moving that one and that's it on the carburetor. That's how I do it. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. This is the carb I use, PZ26. I don't use the Makuni one, or I don't use the Nibby. I don't like those. But uh, this is the one that I always use. So. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys.